present. The motion is adopted. On Capitol Hill, a Friday vote met with applause in the House. The celebration came as the chamber voted to confirm a $2.2 trillion stimulus package designed to help the American public and the U.S. economy fight the devastating spread of the virus. The far-reaching bill was approved via long-distance voice vote. This as many lawmakers remained scattered around the country and were reluctant to fly back to Washington. It stands as the largest emergency aid package in U.S. history. The money will go toward loans, grants, and tax breaks for small and large businesses, as well as to unemployment benefits and direct cash payments of up to $1,200 to American families. Billions will also be sent to the nation's overwhelmed health care system. The decision comes after an unusual tactic by Kentucky Representative Thomas Massey, who tried to force a roll call vote and voiced his disapproval of the bill. I came here to make sure our republic doesn't die by unanimous consent in an empty chamber, and I request a recorded vote. With many congressmen absent, it could have delayed approval. But the presiding officer, Representative Anthony Brown, ruled that there was no need for one. An insufficient number having risen, a recorded vote is refused. President Trump later tweeting that Massey just wants the publicity. He called the vote a great win for the House, but suggested lawmakers throw Massey out of the Republican Party.